Urban company is not a tech company. I don't want to just focus on high revenue generation. I also want to see which categories I can experiment and grow. Yeah, nobody can beat urban company. Period. It's just a standout case study for a lot of businesses. I've been a power user of urban company for the last three years, and what's consistently shocked me is their ability to deliver quality service across their wide range of offerings. Um, in fact, at present, urban company is Asia's largest home services marketplace, controlling nearly seventy percent of the organized market share. Their secret sauce, again, happens to be a powerful combination of cutting edge technology, a product, a brilliant product strategy, and again, strategic marketing. Right, so. to uncover the secrets behind the consistent service quality um in this unorganized market we spoken to multiple insiders from their company to understand how they operate this business and with that said let's get right into it just pulling hmm. up some quick statistics on urban companies numbers and i found this really interesting so their current average order value stands at around 1100 to 1200 and their commission on their services ranges from 20 20% to 22% uh, the user base right now is about at uh, at about a whopping 10 million people um obviously across multiple countries as well and uh, what's uh, absolutely interesting and amazing is that they have managed to keep a retention rate of up to 75 to 80% in some categories right and that was yeah, a standout yeah. factor for me because uh, i think last episode when we were talking about for example blinkit Absolutely. Uh, we saw an uh, we saw a retention rate of almost yeah. 50% that too was a very high retention rate and 75% is like high, yeah. again one of the most one of the more unheard of uh, rates uh, in these industries <laughs> yeah right um so what are yeah, your yeah. thoughts on this from a service perspective i think 75 to 80% of retention rate especially in this industry which is primarily a physical service driven industry is pretty amazing right and the reason why i'm saying this is because globally there are approximately 10000 companies which are in the home services business but only a few have managed to survive and scale like urban True. company has urban company is the third largest service company in the entire world think about it it is one of the best global companies from india which we don't really talk about right and the reason why they have been able to scale up uh, this services business is not because it is primarily just focused on tech but it is a combination of tech plus its full stack approach let me talk a bit about their full stack approach and what does it essentially mean so in 2014 when they started urban company was just a services platform when we started in 2014 we started as a technology only marketplace and our view of the world at the time was the technology will solve all the problems very quickly we realized that in the indian context the market is extremely unorganized extremely fragmented and technology is important but it is not enough so i would say about a year into our business operations uh when we saw that you know the two sides of the marketplace are not really having a great experience we took a step back as a leadership team and we asked ourselves that look is this the kind of experience for which we started the company hmm. and the resounding answer was no right we asked the question the the ultimate question that you know do our consumers love our product and i think most people around the room felt that far from it right we hmm. have a lot of hard work to do but they soon realized after 6 months that this approach is not working and they said that we'll double down on one category and we'll basically solve each and every problem from that category so what urban company essentially follows is a three part strategy the first is a product a good physical product right the second is service and the third is trust that is the genesis of the whole full stack approach let me explain that right ac services is one of their best and the most highest nps rated service on urban company ka platform right and the insight over there was that nobody really trusts lg or any of these other ac providers because nobody really matlab wo jo tumhe wo aayenge tumhare paas wo siman chapka ke chale jayenge and they will not really help with the diagnosis of the problem and really help with you know solving the problem from the core so what they essentially so the three step process process right product service and trust 
So for the product bit, what they essentially did specially for AC services is that they built this jet spray kind of a thing, which apparently saves 30% of your electricity. Okay. Now this was a great product. It was a good physical product, which was made by urban company. Okay. So they actually went into manufacturing. They actually solved the supply chain of this entire, uh, of this entire category and helped solve the problem by first making a good product right now the interesting thing is that for each and every category urban company doesn't depend on the material of uh, the service mm. provider rather it actually gives the product to the service provider of course the service provider needs to buy it from urban company and this product right now contributes to approximately 25 percent of all the revenue that essentially comes for urban company did you know this so it's not just a service company but it is actually a products company you 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 primarily to the jet spread itself or their uh, set of products in general any any category okay. any category ab ab to baal bhi agar saaf karwayega uski jo catchy hai wo bhi urban ah, company dega makes sense if you're using a facial facial if you're doing a facial jo hmm. product hai that will be made by urban mm. company and that is what contributes to 25 percent of the revenue right, right now the second thing that they solve for is the service bit right i don't know if you know this or not but urban company realized ki yaar, india mein jo hai na, nobody is fully trained jo bhi log aate hai, let's say wo ac theek karne aa rahe hai ya jo bhi theek karne aa rahe hai they are not fully trained in each and everything related mm. to that category theek hai? so what urban company has essentially done is that they've scaled up the training bit quite a bit. So currently they have more than 250 training centers across Southeast Asia and India with more than 450 training partners. Now what happens that with 450 training partners, so when you want to join urban company, right, you need to go through a mandatory training for three days to even three months, right? So that is how they can ensure that each and every service is standardized to the core. Product unka hai, service unke hisaab se ho rahi hai, theek hai? So jo, jo physical part ki cheeze hai, jaha se consumer sab saada interact kar raha hai, that they have solved through these two things, right? Another thing in service that they have essentially done is that they have made custom flow for each and every hmm. category. What that means is that if you repair AC, ja hai, to there is a full diagnosis flow. So remember the initial insight that I gave you that nobody really trusts LG, right? Now how can they trust urban company? That he will do a diagnosis analysis for 100 rupees or 200 rupees, whatever. I don't know the price of that. He will then click all the pictures of the things that he thinks need hmm. to be solved. So he will click karega, let's say uh, AC ka kuch duct ka kuch problem hai ya. He'll click all of these pictures. He'll upload it on an urban company ka partner app. And he will send a full report that according to me, these are the five things that need to be done. Right. And that report is essentially sent to the consumer. And once the consumer accepts that report, only then will urban company send their product and the service provider will basically uh, start mm. fitting it, right? So, isse jo hai, there is a constant monitoring for the service provider, if you correct, really think correct. about it. And and finally, the, uh, the third thing is basically trust, solving for trust, which is the most important thing. India may, we want the best price, we want the best service, and we want to trust it. Hai? Only then will we trust it. Up to build better trust within Indian consumers, what they have done is that they have started giving warranties on their service. So, like your AC, it has 30 days ka warranty. Hai. Laptop repairing, it has 60 days ka warranty. Hai. So, in all categories, where trust is important, hai, trust related is important, hai, par they have essentially given all these warranties to essentially build trust um, for the consumer. Hmm. So I think that is the reason why they have like 75 to 80% of mm. retention. And once you've essentially solved this, and once you have 75 to 80%, you can scale up your business mm. significantly, mm. right? Because 
you don't then you can focus on one acquisition which we'll talk about uh, in a second and you can essentially uh, scale up your technology stack to ensure that you are giving this service at scale let's first start with the acquisition part mm. and then let's move on to how they've managed to scale it up with technology absolutely um, as i said i've been a power user of uc and their uh, overall acquisition strategy really stood out for me because this is something i personally had no idea about right uh, the first question that came to my mind for instance is that how does a company with hundreds of services they have about 107 overall SKU services or whatever you want to call them, right? So so with hundreds of services, how does a company really split its focus, right? Uh, but here's uh, where it gets interesting, right? UC doesn't focus at all on an even distribution of uh, focus on multiple services. It's actually a category-led business. And I know we briefly spoke about this when you were sort of giving an introduction. And for example, uh, I was looking at their meta ads. And what really stood out for me was the fact that they have only about five to six, uh, five to six services that were in uh, the spotlight. Right. There were only five to six services that were constantly being advertised, right, apart from the general branding of UC. Right. And those were primarily things like AC servicing, as we as you correctly discussed, salon and beauty, um, massage therapy. So those kind of items were, were what were clearly standing out. Right. So uh, here's what I uh, found out during the research. Now, uh, Urban Company, how they approach their acquisition strategy is a two pronged approach. Right. One is that they focus, as I said, on uh, a few categories, but there uh, there is a clear split of these two categories. One is high revenue generating services, right? Now, for example, uh, as I mentioned, AC servicing and women's salon seem to be one of their most revenue generating services. Uh, but even under that, there is uh, another level of split, right? So even under the higher revenue generating category of services, you have incidental and non-incidental service categories. What that means is that incidental basically means stuff that happens um, not on a yearly level, but probably in between there are some seasonal trends and there is a particular need for a particular service, right? As I said, um, AC servicing is a, is a standout example. There's another thing about cleaning services that usually there is a very big spike in demand during the Diwali season, right? Diwali happens to be a time where a lot of uh, people get a lot of heavy cleaning done in their houses as a part of their puja part, right? So, so incidental services seems to be one of those categories, as I said, uh, and then you have non-incidental services where there is throughout the year revenue generation, right? Like women's salon obviously is a very big example where there is no seasonality involved, uh, obviously a, a little bit of seasonality involved, but there is a con constant flow of income, right? So what uh, UC does here is that it has a clear team that works on each category. And this is what I found really interesting because I always yeah. wondered how does one scale up so many services. And uh, in this case, it's very clear yeah. that what they do is that they focus on those categories that are bringing the most amount of demand and try to scale mm -hmm. that at a very big, uh, yeah. at a very big level first, right? And what then happens is like a trickle yeah. down effect. So that's how they split their focus. Then there is another um, another category of uh, another uh, type of category that they focus on, which is a high growth potential category right which means that i don't want to just focus on high revenue generation i also want to see which categories i can experiment and grow right and how they again find out find this out is again keeping a very clear track of their nps on services for example a very interesting thing I found out was that massage therapy in there in urban companies case is a low volume service in terms of the number of people actually using the service, but there is a very high NPS score. And another thing that you, as you correctly mentioned, is that when they're launching a new category, uh, what they do is they do some pre-testing, right? And what they do is that, for example, if I have, uh, let's say, uh, a, a, a big audience, uh, so in Meta, you have this thing called lookalike audiences, right? Uh, 
uh, where you you have a you have some clarity on the kind of audiences working well you create a look alike audiences which is a very similar category of audiences and then scale up your demand on a particular service or product right and urban company bhi yahi karti hai ek tarike se ki where uh, when they are trying a new a new gro- a growth potential category what they'll do is they'll create a uh, they'll create a look alike audience from their let's say higher revenue generating category and they'll transition that look alike audience with this a uh, growth potential category and test that audience if it's working on that and then they start scaling it up um they also what i also found very interesting is that they actually have again a separate gtm team uh, which is again a go to market team for every uh, every growth every generating revenue generating category right and uh, i even learned the fact that for example um uh, the fact that uh, ac servicing in the months that uh, that it actually survives uh, right as compared to let's say women's salon which is again a year long revenue gener- revenue generating category ac services actually beats uh, women's salon in just the seasonal months right it just uh, it, it just reiterates the whole argument of how a uh, intent uh, intent uh, matters so much in in this business right whenever you have a, lo- a really high intent right conversion spike and everything sort of fits for you right so so that is something i found very interesting and also the fact that um, these folks at uc uh, work so closely with each category now for example i don't know if you know this but when they are trying to scale up ac servicing they have like a team of people that actually monitors temperatures in every city so for example if tomorrow delhi for some reason out of season there is a spike of uh, temperature like it just increases they will in- immediately ramp up marketing right and i was like oh wow that is that is interesting that that is a smart thing to do right so that's the kind of level of uh, you know data tracking they have and now coming to you know the next two uh, sections right now uh, i just want to tap a little bit on these two things because i found these also equally interesting as as compared to the category led marketing one is how much market research they actually put in to their products right and i briefly mentioned this before um but i i even learned the fact that these folks for example in one case right they actually deployed brand managers on ground to go and study consumer markets get comp- like very very clear insight like they have a very big research team in fact i even uh, i even saw that they hired someone in just consumer insights and research who's been doing like research for like 10 years another case in point is that so their co-founder abhirat singh also mentioned that uh, so so their recent ro product right and i found this a little odd that they've launched an ro product right native uh this is like just a random product in the again uc arsenal uh which which uh, which they suddenly launched and they suddenly like ramped up a lot of marketing for interesting thing here is why they launched it and again it brings me back to the market research point that so abhirat singh himself said this right that over the past few years we have repaired and serviced a lot of purifiers one pain point that we have constantly encountered from consumers is why uh is how so many uh water filters constantly need uh like servicing every couple of months right so this they decided to address this problem with the help of this their own water purifier that actually has a shelf life of 2 years without any servicing required right that's hmm. a pretty big pain point they're trying to solve and again the fact that they collect so much on ground research from consumers directly ki yaar wo pata chal jata hai ki acha ha this is hmm. a very stand out product that people require yeah. at this point in time right correct and correct. thirdly correct. talking about ki how does uc actually build a brand that uh, is is actually focusing around all types of services again now <clears throat> uc actually <clears throat> even though it's a category led business actually uh, in in that sense the primary focus has always been brand building right you believe it or not and and that's why hmm. you see a lot of these tv and uh, digital ads being there right and there and i think hmm. uh, their co-founder himself mentioned this is tv and uh, so your tvcs and your digital advertisements that account for the highest share of their you know marketing expense right marketing which expense. means that again there is a big team that also focuses on the overall brand of uc like not just hmm. ki yaar jaise 
एज ए डिस्कस्ड एक बार पहले भी कि देर इज अ टारगेटिंग एंड दर ब्रांड बिल्डिंग अप्रोच राइट टारगेटिंग अप्रोच में यू विल गो वेरी हैवी ऑन ट्राइंग टू फाइंड कि यार मेरे को आर ओ बेचना है सो आई विल गो टू दिस ऑडियंस दिस ट्वेंटी फाइव टू थर्टी फाइव एज ऑडियंस एंड दिस सिटी ये सब वो सब बट बट इन इन द केस ऑफ ब्रांड बिल्डिंग यू प्रॉब्ली डोंट डू दैट मच यू प्रॉब्ली गो वेरी ब्रॉड राइट एंड यू यू गो फॉर दीज टी वी एड्स एंड ऑल दिस कैंड ऑफ थिंग्स बट another interesting thing that uh, you know these guys are uh, doing at this point in time is uh, so a lot of people in marketing right wo kya karte hai ki yaar when they they launch an ad and then they will see ki kaisa chala right this is a very common thing like i've seen a lot of people making making this mistake personally ki ek campaign bana ke wo pura matlab they will place it all over india in terms of ipl and all these things and then they will see what is the result right but what these guys do is actually build synthetic control groups right what i mean is that they actually build a kind of a control group where they have like these couple of cities and couple of audiences that they test like a pre test right a pre test for an ad right they run that on a very small scale they run their own ad campaign like brand ad campaign on a very small scale they see ki yaar mere impressions to conversions kitne aa rahe hain and when they launch it on the big scale like for example an ipl ad they see ki yaar let's say 100 uh, 4 million impressions hai ya 1 million impressions hai this would be my conversion rate like a benchmark conversion rate and this would be the amount of people that are probably like coming in for the services after that so again a very interesting way of actually measuring demand and actually creating curating a proper strategy a proper uh, data driven strategy based on a lot of pre testing right so that sort of sums up their whole acquisition strategy and i found it really interesting because i had no idea this is how these businesses are run right and i think uh, what we should probably cover next because again this is your area of expertise uh, and a very interesting section as well because of how they have actually built out their whole tech system right and although on the face of it it seems very simple ki yaar tech system mein kya hi hota hoga there's a lot they are doing behind the scenes right matlab there is a lot and i think maybe you want to take that up urban company is not a tech company right it is a service company which has managed to scale with tech right yeah uh to ab iske andar what they have basically done is that main do parts mein se divide karunga one part we've already covered which is building a personalized flow for each and every category right this is what we covered in acquisition this is what we covered in uh in in the first section as well ki har ek category ke liye because it's a different business altogether there needs to be a separate personalized flow right the second and the more complex bit is the whole matching supply and demand what that essentially means is ki yaar mere paas itne service providers hai and i have these many users i need to essentially match both of these in real time every single day mm. right and ye bahut zyada complicated hai ye इसलिए इतना ज़्यादा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है बिकॉज अनलाइक जोमैटो एंड स्विगी जहाँ पे एक डिलीवरी पार्टनर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दे हैव लाइक फोर लैख फाइव लैख डिलीवरी पार्टनर्स ठीक है एंड उन डिलीवरी पार्टनर्स का जो काम होता है इज टू बेसिकली गो फ्रॉम वन लोकेशन टू अनदर लोकेशन एंड जस्ट गेट देयर फूड या फिर गेट समथिंग ठीक है एंड गिव इट टू द नेक्स्ट पर्सन देर इज वेरी लिटिल स्किल रिक्वायर्ड Uh, the only skill which is required is driving and maybe a bit of talking and all of those things but apart from that there is no skill required mm. you see a case may they just have 45000 partners and uh, each partner needs to, has a specific skill what that essentially means is ki yaar tu baal kaatne wale se wiring theek nahi karwayega theek hai uh to ab usme jo hai their entire algorithm and this is their ip by the way bahut zyada hame matlab i had to basically talk to multiple people to get this out so <laughs> so so basically this this whole matching demand and supply this whole matching algorithm is made up of three parts one is the whole skill matching bit quantifying it quantifying the skill matching and then the time it would essentially take तो सबसे पहले लेट्स लेट्स ब्रेक इट डाउन इनटू टू थ्री थिंग्स राइट सबसे पहले लेट्स बात करते हैं स्किल मैचिंग की जैसे मैं बोल रहा था कि यूसी के पास सिर्फ 45,000 पार्टनर्स है और हर एक पार्टनर की एक डिफरेंट स्किल है राइट तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल तो तुम्हें अगर कोई रिक्वेस्ट आती है तो सबसे पहले उसे स्किल से मैच करना है कि यार मेरे पास लेट से फोर्टी डिलीवरी पार्टनर्स है इन फिफ्टी लोकेशन 
इस लोकेशन से जहाँ से डिमांड की रिक्वेस्ट आई है आई हैव लेट से 500 हंड्रेड पीपल हु आर गुड एट प्लम्बिंग और प्लम्बिंग की रिक्वेस्ट आई है तो मेरे को इन 500 लोगों में ये रिक्वेस्ट डिवाइड करनी है सम ठीक है द सेकेंड थिंग इज क्वांटिफाइंग इट ठीक है कि वो किस लेवल का काम है तो देर कैन बी मल्टीपल लेवल्स टू अ वर्क सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर लेट से एक रिक्वेस्ट है सिंपल सा कि एक बल्ब फिक्स करना है या एक ट्यूबलाइट लगानी है ठीक है तो दैट इज समथिंग दैट एनी गाय कैन डू एनी इलेक्ट्रीशियन कैन डू वेरी इजीली राइट बट अगर किसी को वायरिंग ठीक करवानी है सो दैट इज एल टू लेवल रिक्वेस्ट लेवल टू लेवल ऑफ एल टू लेवल ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट ठीक है वॉट दैट इसेंशली मीन्स इज कि यार मैं हर एक बंदे को ये रिक्वेस्ट नहीं दे सकता एक स्पेशलाइज ग्रुप ऑफ लेट से हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड पीपल है इन दैट पर्टिकुलर सिटी जिसे मैं ये रिक्वेस्ट दे सकता हूँ ठीक है प्लस अलॉन्ग विद दैट क्वांटिफाइंग दैट एंड इंश्योरिंग दैट गुड पीपल आर गेटिंग मोर जॉब दे हैव अ वेरी कॉम्प्लेक्स रेटिंग सिस्टम ब्रॉडली इट इसेंशली सेज कि यार हर एक पार्टनर की रिसेंट रेटिंग फोर पॉइंट सेवन होनी चाहिए ठीक है अगर फोर पॉइंट सेवन से कम है सो दैट पार्टनर इज ब्लैकलिस्टेड फॉर अ सर्टन पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आफ्टर विच ही इज इधर रीट्रेनड और दो तीन दिन का रीट्रेनिंग होता है उसका और फिर वापस से वो रोस्टर में लेकर आते हैं उसे ठीक है एंड देन द थर्ड इज द होल टाइम बिट नो वाई दिस ये टाइम कहाँ से आ गया राइट अब इसे जो है आई डोंट नो इफ यू सीन दिस और नॉट बट यू सी में देर इज अ कैलेंडर विच यू नीड टू सेंटिफिल इन कि यार मेरे को इस टाइम पे ये बंद ये सर्विस के लिए चाहिए ठीक है अब द पॉइंट इज दैट लेट्स से यू लिव इन नॉर्थ डेली एंड आई लिव इन गुड़गांव ठीक है अब अब द एंड यू हैव इसेंशली गॉट दिस पर्सन टू डू सम काइंड ऑफ अ प्लम्बिंग वर्क सेम फॉर मी ठीक है अब तेरा प्लम्बिंग काम दे नीड टू प्रिडिक्ट कि यार ये काम ध्रुव का काम करने में कितना टाइम लगेगा आधा घंटा फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स वन आवर कितना टाइम लगेगा डिलीवरी पार्टनर को ध्रुव का काम खत्म करने के बाद रक्षित के पास आने पे कितना टाइम लगेगा विल ही टेक थर्टी मिनट्स फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स फिफ्टी मिनट्स तो इस लेवल की टाइम मैपिंग भी इंपॉर्टेंट है हाउ मच टाइम विल अ सर्टन सर्विस टेक एंड हाउ मच टाइम विल अ डिलीवरी पार्टनर टेक टू गो फ्रॉम वन प्लेस टू अनदर उसके बेसिस पे वो डिमांड सप्लाई को मैच करते हैं कि यार अगर लेट से कोई पार्टनर एक्स है जो और उसे ध्रुव के घर में 45 फाइव मिनट्स लगेगा और ध्रुव और रक्षित के घर पे जो डिफरेंस है इज लेट से फिफ्टी मिनट्स एंड दोनों के अपॉइंटमेंट जो है सिर्फ एक घंटा अपार्ट है तो एक्स डिलीवरी पार्टनर को एक्स सर्विस प्रोवाइडर को वो काम नहीं देंगे वाई पार्टनर को देंगे राइट तो वेरी कॉम्प्लिकेटेड एम एल ड्रिवन सिस्टम इज रिक्वायर्ड ओवर हियर ठीक है नाउ कब या नाउ अ मोर इंटरेस्टिंग एंड मोर कॉम्प्लिकेटेड थिंग ठीक है बिकॉज इट्स अ सर्विस बिजनेस इट्स अ सर्विस बिजनेस राइट तो इट्स नॉट लाइक अ स्विगी इन जोमैटो जहां पर एटलीस्ट इन टीयर वन सिटीज द डिमांड एंड सप्लाई इज सॉर्ट ऑफ इक्वली स्प्लिट ठीक है अगर तू लेट्स इट डजेंट मैटर इफ यू स्टे इन डी एल एफ फेज फोर और सेक्टर सिक्सटी फाइव तेरा जो सर्विस का स्विगी जोमैटो इज सो वेल स्प्रेड विद दर डिलीवरी पार्टनर्स एंड एवरी थिंग एंड प्लस डिमांड भी हर एक हर एक सेक्टर से आएगी एटलीस्ट फॉर इन टीयर वन सिटीज आई डोंट नो अबाउट टीयर टू बट टीयर वन में तो आई एम गेसिंग की मोस्टली हर जगह से मिल जाएगी तेरे को डिमांड ठीक है यहाँ पे द प्रॉब्लम प्रॉब्लम क्या होता है ना दैट बिकॉज इट्स अ सर्विस कंपनी यहाँ पर कुछ सर्विसेज होंगे विच आर स्पेसिफिक टू अ सर्टन लोकेशन सो वॉट दैट आई एल एल इलेस्ट्रेट दिस विद एन एग्जाम्पल तो लेट्स यू आर लिविंग इन नॉर्थ डेली अब नॉर्थ डेली इज नोटोरियस फॉर कि यार उधर पाइप्स फट जाते हैं ठीक है और तेरा बाथरूम गंदा हो जाएगा तो उधर की जो बाथरूम की रिक्वायरमेंट्स है वो बहुत ज्यादा होगी वर्सेज वॉट यू लिसेंशली गेट इन इन इफ यू लिव इन अ स्वैंकी कॉलोनी इन गुड़गांव ठीक है सो so, उनका जो सिस्टम है राइट इट कीप्स ऑन मेजरिंग द रिक्वेस्ट लॉस ड्यू टू डिमांड एंड सप्लाई मिसमैच ठीक है उसका क्या हुँ. मतलब है कि यार नॉर्थ डेली में ध्रुव ध्रुव के एरिया में इतनी ज्यादा डिमांड है फॉर बाथरूम रिपेयरिंग राइट बट वी आर नॉट एबल टू सर्विस दैट डिमांड बिकॉज ऑफ एक्स वाइज रीजन बिकॉज उधर पाइप ज्यादा फट जाते हैं उधर डिमांड बहुत ज्यादा है सप्लाई बहुत कम है राइट सिमिलरली गुड़गांव में 
इस चीज़ की डिमांड कम है सप्लाई ज़्यादा है तो उस हिसाब से भी उन्हें डिमांड और सप्लाई को मैच करना पड़ता है सो दिस इंटायर सिस्टम इज़ वेरी हाइपर लोकल इट इज़ सीजनल इट इज़ एज यू सेड टेम्परेचर के बेसिस पे ये सारी चीज़ें ये लोग उनका सिस्टम ऑटोमेटिकली कैप्चर करता है राइट विच इज़ जस्ट इन सेन इफ यू अंडर इफ यू लुक एट द अमाउंट ऑफ डेटा इट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू स्केल अप दिस I was just thinking about it कि यार ये बोलना ईजी है कि यू गो नो ट्रैक ऑल दीज डिफरेंट मेट्रिक्स एंड यू गो नो इम्प्लीमेंट ऑन दैट बट ये करना बहुत मुश्किल है यू नीड अ वेरी बिग टीम फॉर दिस एंड स्मार्ट टीम वेरी वेरी सो ब्लिंकेट ट्राइड एंटरिंग दिस स्पेस येस मैडम इज देयर बट यार नो बडी कैन बीट अर्बन कंपनी पीरियड नो बडी कैन बीट अर्बन कंपनी ठीक है बिकॉज इतनी कमोडिटाइज इंडस्ट्री में इतने अनऑर्गेनाइज सेक्टर को ऑर्गेनाइज बनाने में जो इन्होंने टेक साइड पर इतनी मेहनत की है इट इज एक्सट्रीमली हार्ड टू रेप्लीकेट दैट फुल्ली एंड बिल्ड अ मार्केट प्लेस ऑन टॉप ऑफ दैट इन इन एवरी एपिसोड वी ट्राई टू सम अप वॉट वी लर्न फ्रॉम द केस स्टडी विद रिस्पेक्ट टू प्रोडक्ट एंड मार्केटिंग राइट so i think f- from a product perspective what i basically learned was that uh, listening to consumers is extremely important and building good customer experience is the ultimate moat right second thing is that when you're sort of scaling up right uh, you need to ensure that all your systems that you're essentially building essentially improves your customer experience right and not degrades it and third is not all problems can be solved via tech hum uh, log in the tech industry we try to bring in tech in every single thing but in reality tech is a good tool or a good enabler and it is not always a substitute to so, jaise training hai right that cannot be solved by tech to a certain extent that can only be solved by actually having training centers by actually having real people training the service providers right so i think that's my learnings from a product perspective what are your learnings from marketing yeah a quick wrap up on uh, the marketing acquisition strategy uh, at least um so firstly again if you're a service led company with a lot of divisions right i think having a clear team uh, or a clear, clear gtm and marketing team for each uh, category and focusing on each category on a specific level would be extremely integral to actually scale up the whole category led business otherwise it becomes too distributed and too um to uh, uh, unevenly sort of uh, focused right so i think uh, that is probably the first tick take away right and the second would be uh, again as we discussed like really understanding uh, your consumers on a very deep level doing a lot of consumer level research um and i think a lot of people also get this very wrong because they ask the wrong questions and they get uh, the kind the answers they already know right but actually if you look at the uc game they have gone into you know very very deep level of research deploying people on ground to understand the consumers asking the right questions now this is something that again a lot of people don't really know how to do but it's 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 a very important thing to do when you're trying to scale up a brand like urban company right and finally uh, their d- detail level of marketing right as we discussed pre testing of campaigns really understanding data and then only rolling out campaign that's something i personally had not you know known and a lot of people don't do this also right so very very interesting takeaway as well right and yeah. I think uh, with that we have summed up today's episode of um, Moon Company lovely lovely case study of I enjoyed uh, thoroughly enjoyed studying this right and if you like this uh, case study please do maybe share this with one friend maybe like the uh, like our video uh, and uh, support our channel um we run a community called perspectify community where we discuss a lot of these interesting insights on a weekly basis uh, so you can j- join that by the link in the description box and with that said that's me dhruv and rakshit signing off <laughs>